Hello everyone, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make this particular sheet metal practice model. So we can also have the drawing for this particular uh, model. You can see here, this is the drawing and we have the three views here and all the dimensions are mentioned. And in the note, you can see here the sheet metal thickness is uh, 3 mm. So we are going to make this model by using a 3 mm uh, sheet metal thickness. And the procedure we are going to follow here is uh, we are going to create this rectangle you can see here this is a rectangle we can this we can consider it as a base and, uh, and then we can create these two flanges you can see here these two flanges and whatever the features that we have on this uh, flanges we are going to create it then and then finally we are going to create these two uh, gussets so let's go into a 3d model and we can start this by using creating a new uh, file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new file here and uh, in the new file window i'm going to select uh, sheet metal you can see a sheet metal and create keep it as a millimeter and click ok so here uh, you can see here in the drawing it is mentioned 200 mm so this is the you know uh, height of this particular um, you know flange 200 mm and width is 75 mm over here it is given uh, 75 mm so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to sketcher environment on any of the plane so you can choose any of the plane I'm going to select this plane and I'll just click OK so here I'm going to create a simple rectangle so go to rectangle here and let me select a center point so this is the rectangle okay so hit D in order to dimension it so this particular length is 200 mm okay and uh, this particular length is 75 mm okay so this is a simple rectangle we have we can just give it as a finish so once this is done uh, we have to provide a base here so base is nothing but we can provide a tab so go to tab and uh, the thickness is 3 mm so we can enter a 3 mm here and select this particular sketch so you can see here it is developed you can just click okay so the next step is we have to create a uh, flanges here two uh, two flanges we need to provide flange and this flange is of uh, 90 degree so i'm going to create these two flanges and one is with a height of 90 mm you can see here the another one is with a height of 50 mm so we are going to create that i'll just go to flange here and i'm going to select this face okay so this is uh, with a length of uh, 60 mm so let us give 60 mm here and um, it should be material inside and you can keep it as it is uh, length reference is in inside so these two as it is and uh, we can keep a bend radius as 3 mm and you can just click okay okay so in the same way i'm going to create a flange over here so go to flange again and select this flange so the bottom flange is of 50 mm so we can go to hit 50 mm here and you can just click okay so now I can see here uh, this whatever the profile we have so this profile I'm going to create it now so what I'm going to do is I'll just go to sketch in moment and I'll just go to here on this plane okay so here we are going to draw this uh, profile <coughs> so this profile dimension is missing here this dimension is 40 mm and you can see here 150 mm from this edge uh, to this center of the circle and let us create this circle here radius of uh, 10 mm so which means that the diameter is uh, 20 okay and this is uh, you know should be a tangent to this line so press C and let us make a tangency here so this circle with this line is tangent okay and then we are going to draw a line here from this point to this and let us extend this until this point okay and now I'm going to draw one more line here so this is the line and this distance is missing in the drawing so this distance from this point to this point is 40 mm okay and now you can see here uh, the length here is 150 mm so just provide 150 mm here so hit D for dimensioning from this point to the center it is 150 mm okay so now you can see our sketch is fully constrained and now we don't want this uh, extra line so I'm going to trim this 
and also let us uh, close this profile so from this point again I'm going to draw a line here and let us trim this extra line okay so and also we can see here uh, there are small circles here so these circles uh, let us assume it as a 2.5 mm diameter so let us go to circle again and view this as a 5 mm diameter okay so now you can see here uh, for every circle there will be a 15 mm of uh, pitch and uh, there are total 5 number of uh, you know circles so I'm going to make a pattern here so go to pattern and select this sketch now and here we need a linear so we can just select this and we need to reverse the direction I'm going to reverse it and the pitch is 15 mm and uh, number of uh, counts will be 5 okay so that's all we have we can just click okay okay so now uh, I'm going to finish this sketch and we need this tab so how we can create this tab we can just go to tab here and in this time uh, we have to select this secondary tab and we are going to select this profile so meanwhile I'm going to select these circles also so that um, the holes will be created so you can just click okay okay so now we can see here uh, this circle we are going to create so we can see the radius of 12.5 and radius of 5 mm so let us go to uh, sketcher on this flange now and here as well two circles I need one is of uh, 25 diameter this one and one is 10 mm diameter okay so these two uh, center lines should lie on this point uh, sorry this edge so press C point on a curve so this point should be on this and as well as this circle should be tangent to this okay so now it is done okay so now we can finish the sketch and here I'm going to make again a secondary tab so I'm going to select a single curve here so this curve click apply and let me do a normal cutout for this particular circle okay so that's all now uh, we can see here on the center there will be a rectangle which is of sorry 100 mm and 30 mm so we are going to trim this now so for that I'm going to go to sketch element on this plane again and here as well I'm going to go to rectangle with a center point okay so this side it is 100 mm width and height is 30 yeah so this is all that's all we can just finish the sketch so this also I'm going to do a normal cutout so I'm going to do it in a reverse direction and you can just click okay so this cutout is also done and we can see here uh, there is a you know fillet here with a radius of 10 so we are going to go to break corner and I'm going to select this face it is 10 mm so we can just provide 10 mm and click okay okay and also you can see here uh, there is also a 10 mm of uh, radius over here as well so everywhere it is 10 mm so we can just give 10 mm here so go to break corner and select this face 10 mm and it's good and similarly here as well okay so now uh, you can see all the features are done only we are left with only these two gussets and these dimensions are given here 16.5 and 21 and here it is 27 27 so on the flange of uh, 60 mm we have uh, you know 21 mm and 16.5 mm of uh, gusset so how we can create this uh, we can go to gusset here okay and keep it as a user defined okay so now we need to select a curve this curve and at 50 percentage so at the middle so we can create it and you can just click okay okay so here we have to provide a line 
so this line I'm going to draw it here and the dimension is over here so you can see here from this flange it is a 16.5 so hit D so dimension from this to this is 16.5 sorry it is for from inner edge so let us give this as a 19.5 because thickness is 3 mm and also you can see here this point should lie on this line okay in the same way the distance from this point to the inner edge so from this point to this inner edge is 21 mm okay so sketch is fully constrained so now we can just give the finish so once you have given the finish you can see here uh, the gusset is being clear, uh, created so now we can keep all the dimensions everything as it is and you can just click ok ok so similarly I have to do the gusset on this edge as well so let us go to gusset again so now select this edge and here as well I am going to give 50 percentage of the arc length so I am going to give 50 percentage here and you can just click ok so here the dimension for this particular uh, you know sketch is 27 and 27 so we can just give that dimension ok here let me go to dimension so this is 21 and again this is also 21 ok so sketch is fully constrained so we can finish the sketch so now you can see here the gusset is being created so if you want to change any dimensions here these dimensions are not provided in the drawing so you can change if you want ok so now I will just keep it as it is and I will just click ok so now you can see here the model is completely ready and we can just uh, hide everything Control W and hide everything and show only solid bodies ok so this is the 10th uh, example guys so if you have not checked the other videos so please go to playlist and check out the videos thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button